Class C airspace is directly below Class A airspace. Most of the time, the airspace starts at 1,200 feet AGL, although there are times it starts 700 feet AGL, or can even start at the surface. Most of your flying is done in Class E airspace. Although the airspace extends up to 18,000 feet, with this airplane you are likely to do most of your flying below 10,000 feet. When flying VFR at 10,000 feet on up, you want to stay 1,000 feet above or below the clouds and be at least one mile from the clouds horizontally with a five mile visibility. Gauging the distance from a cloud is left to your judgment and experience. The idea is to give you time to evade fast moving aircraft, such as jets, that might pop out of the clouds heading in your direction. Although these distances meet the requirements, it is better to give yourself even more distance. Below 10,000 feet, aircraft must operate at 250 knots or less. This is why the distance from clouds requirements is reduced to 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, and 2,000 feet horizontally with 3 miles visibility. There is a bit of difference where Class E touches the surface, and this is also true for Class B, C, and D airspace. The difference is due to the requirement that planes fly about 500 feet above the ground in these airspaces. In this case, the 500 feet below cloud ceiling requirement on top of the 500 feet above ground requirement means the cloud ceiling in these airspaces must be at least 1,000 feet. Charts display drop to 700 feet AGL as a faded magenta border. Once you get outside of the border, Class E jumps to the 1200 foot AGL level. When Class E touches the ground, this is indicated by a dashed magenta line at uncontrolled airports. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.